Hello guys, today we are going to do yet another tour of this beautiful city of mine. I would say mine because I live here in Mombasa. So, if you've watched my videos, you'll hear me saying that Mombasa is one of those few towns where there are residential homes within the town, actually within the CBD. I would like to explore, I would say, three areas that are kind of in one place on the right side of the Moy Avenue. Moy Avenue is the route that heads to the port. It is the route that also has the famous elephant tusks in Mombasa. So there is Liwatoni, there is Ganjoni, and there is Kibarani. Let's do the tour so that you can see what I mean by residential areas within the CBD. So I'll begin this tour from Moy Avenue. I will dwell on the right side of Moy Avenue because there is where there are plenty of residential areas. Basically, there is everything within these sides. If you like uh, partying, there is Casablanca here. It's usually more lively at night. Let me just take you back a little. Right ahead, there is Goan, the Goan Institute. There, it is some sort of... Uh, if you know Goan, Goans are some people some kind of people, mostly they are Christians from India or something. Basically they do meetings, they do gym, it is just like a social hall. Even outsiders, if you are not a Goan, even if I want right now to be, to use their facilities, I can go and register, pay some amount and it will just be available. I hope I can be able to show you the Goan Institute from a different angle, but for now it is still within the same area. So let me turn. This route is called Nazi Moja from the Google. I know the routes, but I don't know the, their names. So you can see there are plenty of residential areas here. Now there is this route. I'm told it's called Archbishop Macarius route or road. So you can see all these are just right behind Moy Avenue. All these are just homes for people, apartments and all that. And basically, in these sites, you realize that there is everything you need. You don't have to go to, to cross the bridge. You don't have to go to other areas. Everything is within here. You can see those big, tall buildings over there. You can have everything here. In fact, there are some people who have ne uh, there are some people who are born in these areas maybe in Ganjoni or Kibarani and they have never even thought of going to cross the bridge because they don't see the need they can literally access everything there is the beach somewhere dispensary shops banks playgrounds all that is just along this route so this is the route to Liwatoni where I showed you there is a floating, floating bridge but now let me just go get in you can see all these all these are residential areas if you don't want to go through the hassle of the jam when either coming from Kibarani or when you are crossing the Nyali bridge you can just choose to stay in town because here in town it's just like a walking distance to different offices you will agree with me that these apartments are very beautiful they are very very beautiful as much as they appear beautiful inside they are also beautiful outside and some of them are quite old. The modern ones are very beautiful. Most of them are quite small. You realize that the rooms are quite squeezed because of the space. You now you understand the fact that it is in CBD. It just limits it. You can see kids playing football. Yeah, everywhere is their field. They're just comfortable here. They don't need like a proper field because this is just their home yard. And more buildings are coming up. It looks like 
many buildings have been renovated. The only other thing I've realized with the houses in town, basically the ones in Ganjoni and all and all those places I've mentioned, is the fact that there isn't much parking space. Usually they have to pay the county council. During the week they have to pay the county council the parking fees. Because most of the buildings do not have a parking space. So if you have a car, that is a cost that you have to consider when you're moving to this place. And you can see right next to the residential area is a car yard. All those, all those are used cars. So the business and residential areas are just adjacent to each other. If you come to Mombasa, there is no way you'll avoid mosques when the prayer leader is calling for prayers. They are called Muadini. There is no way you'll avoid that. Very few places have that privilege. Other, other than that, it will be difficult for you to just avoid mosques altogether because this is a Muslim dominant area. When prayer time comes, you'll just hear Muadini calling people to pray and we just have to make peace with that. Yes, it is a campus of Mo University and I, I usually, as I usually tell you, we explore together. So being in the CBD, all, most of these houses, or basically all of them, are painted white and blue. It is a by-law by the Mombasa County that all these houses within the CBD are painted white and blue. That is now, white and blue is the color for Mombasa County. Just like you've seen maybe in Santorini, they are all white or I don't know, cream and all that. So Mombasa, they chose this color. During the week, these places are usually packed. All those people who work in Moy Avenue and, and nearby come to park in these areas. Even resi the residents of this place, they come to park to the, in these areas. I'm going back to Moy Avenue. Parking, anywhere you park around this area, being um, uh, in the CBD, you have to pay the parking fees and the parking fees is a hundred shillings assuming you're parking like 30 days 30 days in a week you're in your house that means you'll have to pay 3,000 shillings this is CMC over here and then on my right is Canon Towers Canon Towers is one of those famous landmarks in Mombasa especially along the Moy Avenue because it holds so many offices now you can see Canon Towers clearly it has so many wings I don't know I think up to three wings but on this side of town there are usually plenty of showrooms for vehicles so just come and buy, especially used vehicles, ex-Japan vehicles. You can get ex-UK vehicles at, a, okay, I would say at a price that, depending on your pocket, you can either afford or not afford. <laughs> Even all these are just cards for used vehicles. That is why many people come to Mombasa to buy cars. Because of that, there are many cards. And when, when cars are imported, they usually they usually brought to these kayaks and then people come and buy from them here. Because at times when they are taken up country, the costs usually increase significantly. So people prefer just coming to get them here. Now this is the Liwatoni side. More kids playing on the road. This is their playground. Advantages of staying in town, we just play on the road. <laughs> Let's 
go down to Liwatoni. I have a friend here who's never been to Liwatoni floating bridge. I hope I'll get to show her the floating bridge today. <laughs> By the way guys, thank you so much for the support on the Liwatoni video. It's around, it's more than 100k views. Just go and check out that video where I explain how that whole place now this is the route to Liwatoni floating bridge. There are matatus here waiting for you. Once you've crossed, you just get in into one of those matatus. The first time I was coming here, there wasn't much people. But it looks like over time, people have seen the business opportunity here. So at least they can sell to those people who are passing by. on that foot part was just the exercise I needed for the day or even the week however I have realized that there are more people like I said already and there's some littering so those people who use that route openly please avoid littering and good thing is there is some lighting I've seen some lighting there at least when it gets to the evening people can see where they are stepping at least that one increases safety and there is a police post just at the end at the end and at the beginning of the of the footbridge on the Liwatoni side and the Likoni side so that is good for security because there used to be a lot of insecurity there some time back people are complaining but now at least the government has worked on that by putting the police post there so we are in Kibarani guys and there's plenty of buildings very tall buildings other yards other CFS, CFS are they are called container freight stations. New building, it's called KME KME Towers. I think it's Kenya Maritime Authority Towers. It is a new building that is coming up. I don't think they have, they have begun using it. We are headed towards the route towards ferry, and then here is the Matatu stage. You can see how busy the place is. So I'm sorry about that. It's Mbaraki. Mombasa Sports Club. Here. There's plenty of activities. Sports. And all the sports games. There, there are some nice restaurants. You can actually walk in and order some food. Or you can, you can pay for membership. And you use their facilities. I think I've shown you most of this. It's called Mbaraki Sites. Ganjoni Sites. And Liwatoni Sites. If I have left out one of your streets or you think like I've left out somewhere significant, just comment below and keep watching. There will be more exploration, more adventure, more exploration, more finding out of hidden gems and all that. So guys, until the next video, bye and subscribe if you are new to my channel.